Yes, sir. Oh, hello, boys. <clears throat> I'm back again. Once again for the Renegade Master. Oh, lordy. I need to move my monitor over more. Yeah. Why is that not where it usually is? There we go. Lovely stuff. How are we doing? We're in Zbidan. We are in the land of Mr. JV himself. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Hello, Frizzy. Jesus Christ, already off the bat like that. Oh, my lordy. Let me turn the alert box on again today since we're not going so try hard anymore. Alert box is on, so they should hopefully pop up on the screen in a secondo. Everybody, make sure to say thank you to Mr. Frizzy if you got lucky and got one of them memberships. We're also rocking the, uh, the setup from the video that I've released today, so hopefully it doesn't let me down too much. Good to see, I've just looked both directions and I've not seen a Yamaha either way. That is a massive W. Loving that. And yeah, so we are at uh, Sweden. We're at Udavala, Udavala, however you want to pronounce it. I'm sure there's a more correct Swedish one that Smigdam probably picked me up on at some point. Um, and we're going to see how it goes. From what I saw in JV's preview, is the track looks very, very fast. Like one of the fastest ones of the year. It doesn't look... Like it's got a whole lot of rough to it. So it's going to be very interesting to see how this goes. Uh, I don't think there's any real like wild lines on the track. Uh, the hardest bit of the track really for me from what I've seen so far is trying to time all the different tabletops the right amount. Some are quite short, some are quite long. Let's see how it goes. Can I get a there we go. Now they're coming through. There's number one. Hoya. On number two. Can I get a Oh yeah, you can again, indeed, sir. Three more to go. Where is it? Wait, <laughs> where's, where's the, where's the third, fourth, and fifth? Get yeah, on. Uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll just, we'll just deal with the two. I'll take that. Yeah, hello everyone. Track looks, the track's very pretty. I think that's something that we can all agree on with uh, all of Mr. JV's tracks this year, is they've all looked very, very lovely. Oh, God. Going to get a few of them on them uh, tight insides where you're right next to the banking. Right. Oh, my lordy lordy. I've seen a video already of Dylan sending this, and you can't eat it all the way over, thankfully, but he landed about here, and he got a lucky bounce up and over it, which... Probably ended up being a bit faster for him, which is very, very wild. And one thing that I'm a big fan of is there is no way of cheating this corner. Like all of these Udvel layouts I've seen, oh, pardon me, and other games or other just variations of this track, there's always ways of scumbagging that uh, tight inside inside. Might follow Mr. Adamertz here behind me, see what, see what his lines are saying. Inverted for a little taunt his way, why not? Oh, hold on, dear. <clears throat> uh, for those who are unaware on how these events work, I don't know where you've been, like they happen every single week. Um, you have to sign up for these races beforehand. You can't just hop in the servers as and when you wish. You have to be pre registered, which is why it will show up as you not being whitelisted. It's all done through my MXB. I am just a competitor here. I have nothing to do with the official side of things. Oh my lord. There is a uh, oh, Honda issue one. <laughs> she loves to loop out a little bit. It nice and easy. There's, I think there's so many different ruts in these corners. I have no idea which one's fastest. I feel like outside could be good there. Don't really want to get inside any of them ruts on that jump because you can stay lower if you go on the light parts. Oh, this table isn't actually that big at all, so you can scrub it pretty damn good. I feel like a lot of laps might be uh, broken right at the finish there from people trying to send that last little roller too much. Uh, the only person who I know that does like open track missions is Kevin Fwaler. How you want to reach him, I have no idea. I have no idea what his Discord is or anything like that. 
unfortunately. There you are, yeet. Oh, that tabletop's quite hard to time as well. I noticed that all of the tabletops on this track, they seem to have like really steep landings. So the room for error isn't very big. You have to get your, uh, your distance pretty damn good. Oh, I'm jealous. I had a Domino's on Friday night. I was loving life. And surprisingly, it didn't attack me afterwards as much as I thought it would. Usually, the uh, bathroom's in a bit of trouble after I've had a Domino's, but this shit was all good. It's all Gucci. Uh, the track name is in the title of the stream, sir, and it's in the thumbnail. And the track link is in the description. Take any pick you wish. Uh, no, I'm not on a 250. I'm on a 450. I only do 450 racing now. Oh, there's, I think I might try avoiding that inside right, if I'm honest, that's two laps that that's happened. It's just so close to that uh, inside banking that it's very difficult for the wheel to not try and climb up and over it. Uh, no, Linz does not like pineapple on his pizza. Uh, I don't know what sound mod it is. I don't think it's the 250 sound mod. I think it's something completely different. But I didn't realise I had a sound mod on it because I forgot that it just... When you update stuff, it just overwrites and you keep all your sound mods and things like that. But apparently I've had the sound mod on my Honda for a very, very long time. So when people ask me what sound mod I have, I generally have no idea where I got it from. So it can't help you there, I'm afraid, boys. I just run, run what I got. Why so, is it so difficult to stop and get tucked in on the inside? Too sure. Ooh. Ooh, the frames did not like me there. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube's end. A little bit framey. Only a little bit. Not not too much. Just a, a small amount. We try going one rut further inside rather than all the way around the outside. Love that. Don't love that. I mean, setups aren't for everyone, boys. I did say in the video that you have to ride it a certain way, and there's, you don't get a setup that's going to actually make you faster. Uh, this bike suits me a lot. I don't think it's slippery. I think it's incredibly grippy. Uh, double check you got the right tyres. If you do, then it might just not be for you. You might be better off on something else. I think it's it's very, very grippy for me. Oh god, that's sketchy jumping down there, trying to scrub off time at the end. I mean, qualifiers like haven't even started yet, just riding around, doing the laps, learning the lines, trying not to suck the handlebars. You guys silly? I'm still gonna set this. Alright, go through absolutely everything in the setup video earlier today, boys. Everything. Please go and watch it. Uh, track review? No, there's, there's there's no point doing track review. I had a live stream that was nine hours long. <laughs> you can get you can get my thoughts on it from watching any of that. It all goes up as a VOD. There's no point in me uh, like wasting the video on doing that as well when I already go through more and play it as a live stream. I do the same on these GP tracks as well. I very rarely go back on, on them and make a dedicated track video afterwards. I only really do that on custom tracks. That inside's a little bit tricky as well. I'm scared of a lot of these insides where they are so close to the banking. Oh, oh hold on, dear. Hold on, dear. Oh, Lord. We're going down. Uh, I, t uh, I, don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it, boys. I do videos that show you all my settings and what stuff I run. Next two seconds. Two secondos. It is a, a massive pain in the bum having to keep going back to the garage to show off my stuff when I'm trying to practice and learn tracks and run qualifying laps, etc. 
wonder if that gives you cuts if you go a little bit too far on the inside there and then bells. I'm a big advocate of when you find a setup that you like, you shouldn't really be changing setups for each and every track. Because it really won't help you to the extent you think it will. You're much better off adjusting your riding for the track rather than changing your setups all the time. So, yeah, I've run the same setups for everything. Same as I'd even run this exact same setup on the Supercross track now if I went over to Supercross as well. I. I I don't know how else to word it. You just need to put time in and get good at things. You're not going to find a magic button that makes you faster all of a sudden. Although I would like a magic button right now because I'm kind of struggling in some of these deeper ruts. Just following the marijuana. See if he just bounced. Oh, I was going to see if he bounced up and over it. Right, let's take a bit of fuel out. It'd be qualifying time now, so we'll go down to the old two litres so we can run a couple laps back to back if need be. Uh, yeah, I recorded it all today, Nick. Uh, I'm going to render it as soon as this uh, this stream's done and then I'll upload it ready for first thing in the morning for, for, for my time. Uh, actually, it'll probably, probably go up in exactly 12 hours from now. 11 hours and 45 minutes. Try and get a banker lap in like we usually do. See what we run, see what we get. I'll see if I can get this action, this inside rut down here, because I keep missing it all the time. I just tipped over it again, barely. I go over the rut. That was close. It's actually really sketchy from the inside. This has been alright so far. I'll probably mess it up in the last corner now that I've said that, but it's fairly smooth. Ooh, oh, oh, oh! Told you, told you I'd mess it up. Me trying to lean over too far on a rut that probably doesn't allow you to do so. Alright, it's a bank collapse at the end of the day, it's not meant to uh, set the world alight. Go again, we go back to back. Can I slow up and get the inside rut here as well? No, I can't, that's asking a little bit too much. Oh! Oh, take care. <laughs> we go back again. Oh, it feels weird only having uh, 20 minutes worth of qualifying now after having the 30 minutes in oh, the AMA. 30 minutes at Parlour. Rip! Transfer. Oh, channeling my in a K dub. Being extra careful into this inside rut here because I just don't want to ruin the lap the second it starts by trying to push it too fast into that extremely technical corner. I eat. The best land in there in the world, but we'll keep her going. And we make the inside at the bottom of this hill this time. Extra slowly. There we go, finally. It literally saved me half a second. That's nuts the difference that makes. 
just by hooking a rut there. I feel like I flow pretty good on this once I get sailed into a rut. Oh, you bugger. I just went a power to the outside because if you have a look here on the takeoff, exactly where H just went, if you kind of hit here, you can stay lower over the face of this. But <laughs> I turned far too sharp left on landing on that jump and it just yeeted me off. That's just 450 things getting a bit wild. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Same here, I think if you hit the far left there, you can go a bit lower. Far right here, you can stay a little bit lower too. Um, I didn't. Mind. I feel like the Husky turns pretty decently. I just didn't like the suspension. I found it was very stiff. Of course, it to skim across some of the bumps and not like actually soak them up. So I've not spent too much time on it right now. I'm gonna stick to the Honda for a little while at least because I've uh, told three two seven this is the bike that I'll be going for, and I feel bad making him make skins all the time. I know he's a busy man. He already makes skins for so many people. Oh god, what's the front end doing there? Come that a little bit too far, noted. Do not send it that far next time. That one right hander there in particular seems to make my frames just plummet, and then everywhere else in the track's absolutely fine. Very, very odd, no idea what would cause that. Okie dokie. Itself. Do not get off the back of the bike too far, so the front end is very, very light. Yeah, that's what I like about the patch is we could just see some different cars. I think for the most part people are going to stick with blue because that's just what they're comfortable on. They don't want to branch out and try other things. But if you're like me and you're not particularly any any points battles right now, it's fun to mess around a little bit. And I honestly, the suspension on this feels much nicer than the Yamaha. I would just say the Yamaha probably turns a tiny bit better. I think different bikes suit different people's riding styles as well. Like, Charlie is not a big fan of the Honda right now, but then I know other people absolutely love it. And I think for me, trying to keep the bike nice and smooth and partnered in corners, it just feels really good. Alright, choke up on this a little bit more. And here, easy to the inside. Love that. I want to jump over that bump. Nice. Little scrub. I've got a lot of time to gain at the end of this lap if I can keep majority of the lap clean. In that one corner that I slid for about five seconds. Right, lean forwards this time. There we go. No front end issues. Trying to wad myself coming into here. Lovely. See that stayed nice and low over that. I like coming out wide here because then I can. Oh, not do that. I was going to say cut back across, but that was a bit of an L. We'll keep it going. Right, so I'm 1.1 seconds down going into this corner. What happens if I hit it nicely and not slide out? And I've gained all that time back. Holy, that was a lot of time. Oh, we're going to crash. Oh! <laughs> Oh god, I've got to check up a lot more there. Just landed on the face of all the ruts, that was bad. No, Charlie didn't qualify for round one. He ended up doing the uh, the amateur race a little bit afterwards. I've got Jackson on my cheeks. That's going to be annoying, he's going to be here the whole time. Still not getting settled in that corner I would like to.
Oh, we've gone over that one. God damn it. That's all right. This might say a bit lower on the right there. No, I think that left was definitely faster. Interesting line from uh, Mr. Jackson. Both me and him were going faster this lap than our previous times. Oh no, he's he's wanted himself. Right, don't send this to the flat this time. There we go. There you go. One point eight seconds up. Oh, we're only just off the top. Oh, take care. Uh, yeah, even more times gained there. I think we've got another second or so with a, a smooth clean lap. Nice having the finish line so close to the uh, the pits as well. Just spin around and get laps going back to back. Oh, we're coming into this corner, a bit of a sharp angle here. Not ideal, but it's fine. Somehow I'm still up. I must have had an awful go around there. Oh, don't do it! Right, it's inside. Not taking it yet. Uh, I don't I don't know if I prefer it, but we're jumping offside the track anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the fat bars are a OEM supporter model swap, so they're paid for on the OEM website. Again, I probably shouldn't be running model swaps at all because of how many people ask for it, but I just think it looks nice. I prefer fat bars over normal. Oh my god. Okay, um, note to self, take off on the right hand side of that because you get zero pop on the other side. Uh, rest in peace. Hello Seabolt, you're up man. Weird seeing you in it. God, I couldn't see where my entrance points to the rut was. Oh, I was clean. About half a second up already. Annoyingly, I do have to try and hit this triple now. Got it, but overshot it. No! Oh, I don't know if I'm going to hit that, <laughs> that first corner that clean again. That was so nice. Yo, yeet. I think I've only had, like, two decent laps. Was good again. Might try. I'm not going to go for this lap. I'm going to stick to the left hand side up here. Stick to the left and then cut down and hopefully stay in this rut, which keeps me tighter in the corner. I uh, still lost a lot of time. That's an L. So, yeah, triple definitely faster. Get on the binders. Hook this inside. Nice and gentle on the power. Jump over that bump again, front end. What are you doing to me, man? Don't do me like this. Oh my god. Oh, this could be bad, boys. I'm struggling. Struggling because I'm trying to push too hard. Definitely think this is one of them tracks where you want to chill out a bit and you'll go a lot faster. Just gonna beeline over here to get to the finish again so we can go for another lap. Yo, yeet. Oh, clean. Went seven up in one corner is ridiculous. Oh, survive. 
Thank you. Oh, so sketchy. Go up 0.7 at the start, and then I just lose 0.6 straight afterwards because I can't hit a corner smooth. Very nice and smooth that time. That's so frustrating. Ah, oh, I'm pissed. I had that horrible thing where the clutch doesn't disengage after I changed down, so I had no engine braking off the jump. Which we lost about. Point six seconds there. Oh, take care, Adam. again. There we go. Much better. And it counted. Love that. Oh, I'm a happy man. We only have three minutes left to qualifying as well. I, I'm not sure, Carl. I don't know how LeBron's legacy will be affected by these breaking bumps, but so far they don't seem to be treating too bad. But yeah, that was, I'm, I'm happy with that lap. I mean... Skills is probably going to be it for like two seconds coming up to the end of the session, or when all the results go through, Hells is probably in another server will be it by like two seconds or so. But I'm happy with that. Um, I am. Especially since like people like Jackson and Skills were absolutely smoking me at Parlour. But yeah, good. Then the last table, there's no point, Locus Sam. You can't you can't downside this at all, and then you just have to pray for some luck and RNG. You best because you land about here. And you just need to hopefully you get a good bounce to get up and over the wall. Uh, GMT is Greenwich Mean Time, I believe. This lap isn't going to count because I've not started it properly, but we're just going to spin some laps. What I don't get, Red Rider, is how... Uh, so all these tracks in their own right, they are amazing. I don't understand how he's doing, like, pumping out one a week. I know obviously he had a lot of time before the season started to get the bases of them done and stuff, but the quality and quantity is just great to me, and I don't... It's not like I've seen the quality drop off progressively through the season. It's all been just as good one after the other. Uh, I don't know optics. Qualifying isn't over yet. You have to wait until it's all over and all the time's been combined to know what the time was in order to qualify. Oh, hold on, dear. Get to the inside here. And still, love that. Off your power to the outside and just... Could work. Possibly, potentially, maybe. 
Oh, Jackson just went a bit faster then. He's only 0.4 off. Uh, no, we're not going to do that, Carl. There's no need to try and be edgy for the sake of it. No, Charlie didn't qualify at round one. He uh, he done the AMS race in between, though, and he, he said he had, had a lot of fun doing that. Apparently the race and it was really good. But he is going to keep trying to uh, qualify each week. Alright, see if we get a lucky bounce. Oh, we did! <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous that so you can do an entire good lap and hope for a good bounce over that wall before the end. <laughs> yeah, so I, I could go up to any of these objects dotted around the track and just the quality of them is insane. Like, especially all this custom stuff. Like you, you don't see this little building lighthouse, whatever it is, on any other track in the circuit. And I can go right up to it and like, look, at, look at the level of detail in the wood. It's very, very nice. Yeah, it's all the custom stuff that I think brings the tracks together. Uh, I'm not doing an A to Alf uh, today, Alfie. The reason being is our dear friend Mr. Reaper Doc is doing a charity, or well, a 22-hour charity live stream. So I don't really want to be that guy to take anybody away from that. So once all this stream is said and done, I'd like a bunch of you to go over there and just basically like the equivalent of a Twitch raid, I suppose. Hit the old Linz, Linz sent us, etc. I think that'd be quite nice. I think he'd appreciate it a lot. And it also gives me a good excuse to not stay up super, super late again. Because ever since I stayed up for that NA race at Parlour, my sleep schedule has been ruined. Oh, thank you very much, Keepsake. I appreciate that. What my ideal would have been overall as well. I'll have a look when I cross the line this time. Good bounce? Nope, not good bounce. Uh, results. Deal lap time. 33.9. What have I got? Uh, oh, no, that, that is my ideal. Okay, 33.9. <clears throat> Do we have many uh, Hondas in here after my video today? Alpha's on one, but to be fair, he did say he was liking it before I made a video. Pat's on one, and I know Pat watches my stuff, so I love that. I'm influencing people. Not as many as I thought. A lot a lot of people on the Yamaha still. So that makes me even happier that I went to the top of this session. I reckon I'm second or third overall when all the times combined. That's what I believe. We'll, we'll, we'll give it a couple minutes, and then we'll we'll find out. Thank you, Jackson. If you could slow down a bit, please, that'd be great. You're arguing a bit too fast, for my liking. I like being the, uh, the third place guy behind Hills and Skills. I don't need to be the fourth place guy now. <clears throat> Time for me is currently 8.34pm. I mean, the biggest downside on this Honda that i found is where she has got so much power and bottom end, I don't know how to get out the gate without doing a backflip. <laughs> I've not, I've not worked out a proper start technique yet. So we're uh, work on it. So even if I go into third gear, you'll have to just keep blipping the clutch or she rises. Oh, you can get that stopped for the inside. Oh, that's nice. That would be quick if you can get that. Nice and smooth and consistently. Consistently. Can't talk. Rip. Fourth gear and shift down. Uh, I can try it. Just, I feel like I don't want to lose too much time from the shifting down part is the issue. I want to feel like I'm constantly moving. Try fourth. How 
How am I still how am I still wheeling in fourth gear? Right, let's try fifth gear. Charlie, if you go onto the MXB Mods website and just literally search Max Hard, it'll come up straight away. Or Google MX Bikes Max Hard. She'll come up. Oh, that'd be lovely if that was doable. That'd be nuts. I know what you mean about like partially redlining. The issue is then there's so much room for error where. You could be a tiny bit over or under and the bike doesn't launch properly, so I'd like a way of sort of starting where I can either be on the limiter or just something that can be very consistent. Uh, I'm not sure about a good lap time for a 250, so I do not ride them. But I'll be looking at the MX, uh, the MyMXP website in a second to have a look at the qualifying results, so remind me and I will have a look at the 250 ones as well. Uh, there's install instructions on there. It's it's different to normal mods, so I, I can't remember off the top of my head. There's a few things you have to put into different places. Right, that's enough crashing. Have a look. Go over here. My Mixb. Sign ups, times, and groups. Oh, hello, sir. Mr. Garrett. Good luck and thanks for all the videos and interaction with the community. That's no problem. Thank you very much, my man. Good luck and thanks for all the videos and interaction with the community. Smile. I appreciate that. I like how the conversion rate at the moment is so close to like the whole pound. I'm pretty sure it's ten dollars, and it goes to eight oh nine, or I think it's like four oh four or four oh five. Oh, the results aren't even up yet. Next load. Do you think there's anyone crying in uh, Discord at all? No. no. Okay, cool. Go back to riding for a few more laps. <coughs> Uh, I believe it's top 30 or 35, Flynn. I can't remember off the top of my head. Oh, was that you, Red Rider? Oh, thank you very much, sir. And now I now know your name. I will still refer to you as Red Rider, though. But <laughs> thank you very much. Still glad for it, uh, it came through with an actual name rather than a random string of text and letters that it does, so I have no clue who it is. Have you got any masterpieces in the uh, in the workings at the moment, or are you just are you helping Ruse with his? Actually, I won't say what he's working on. He told me what he's working on, but I don't know if, how public information that is. Are you helping Rubes? I caught it first. That doesn't happen. That's not like me. That means I'm going to have a god awful race. That's quite worrying. Yeah, Boardman, look at Boardman go. And on the hot, yes, it started. The Honda takeover. You love to see it. Oh, look at the red. Look at the red. I guess Hells isn't playing today. He wrapped up the title and then he pieced the scene. He's like, no, I've got my prize money. I'm not playing anymore. Uh, so it was top 35 that went through. You needed to get a 140.1 in 450s to make it in. And in 250s, you need a uh, one. <laughs> 250 times faster. You need a 139.9 in 250s to get in. That's funny. And the 250 time, fastest 250 time was faster as well. Mateo beat me by a point two. I had a 33.9, he had a 33.7. Great banner. Love that. Move that off the screen. Uh, servers up at all. The announcements. No. I'll keep playing for now. 
I think that the asset side of things, Red Rider, is the stuff that really goes unnoticed in the community but makes a huge difference. It just means that like, any Joe Schmo like me can make a track and actually slap some good looking assets around it to make it look ten times better without needing all that background knowledge on modelling and texturing and stuff. So, big W. I do. I appreciate the guys that go out of their way to make those sorts of things, as well as just the normal tracks and gear. You just get a couple more temps, Moto. What's wrong with you? Need a few more temps and you'll be fine. Well, I, I can safely say I'm pretty sure every single time, at least this season, or this year, I've qualified P1, I've had a god-awful two motos. So, strap yourselves in. <laughs> it's going to be a fun one. I don't know if I want to go for that in the race, but I feel like a lot of people will. Especially on lap one. You'll get that one person randomly in like P30 off the start that'll try sending that and land on someone and cause a massive pile up because, you know, the brain cells don't really work. Uh, I'm not, honestly not sure on that, Justin. You'll have to give it a go yourself. I mean, you're more than welcome to try it. I don't know, I don't know if the values go to the same numbers and you can, if you can do the same setup at all, um, but I've purely only used it on this bike. And it seems to do me well. I mean, we went top of quality. Granted, granted, Hells isn't here, but we still had some pretty fast people. <clears throat> Hold on, dear. Uh, qualified first, Frizzy. Which I don't think's happened in GPs yet, so I'm very happy for that. Or has it? I oh, don't know, you guys have better memory than I do. Uh, race servers are still not up just yet. Uh, I don't think there's like a designated one place to find setups. Your best bet is hoping that someone's made a Google, a Google, <laughs> a YouTube video on it. Um, but as of yesterday, in my Discord server, we've made a setups channel where people can kind of put their own ones in there for other people to try if they want to. Um, so that'll that'll kind of build up over time. It's not like Skills' Discord, for example, where he's got setups for absolutely everything that he updates himself personally. Because I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I just slap some stuff in there and hope it works. And luckily this one feels pretty damn good and smooth for me. I just realise how fast this start's going to be as well. Right, it's such a long sweep in first corner. Uh, my advice, Marks, would just be to spend way more time than is healthy and then spend that time focusing on being smooth and consistent rather than just trying to go for constant hot laps all the time. It'll benefit you in the long run. Once you can get around a track consistently then you can start trying to increase your speed. Keep a little transfer. Still going, still holding on to it. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't an ideal day, Charles. It, it was alright though. It weren't terrible. It's a shame that I'm now that far down in the points already for EU after one round because of game crashes. But you just gotta treat it as like a mechanical IRL, you can't do anything about it. Be nice if there was like a sneaky inside right here that you could take instead of it all filter into the outside. Uh, no, Charlie hasn't tried qualifying for this. He uh, he's working today. He won't be able to do it. <clears throat> uh, yeah, definitely. So just I, I what usually use the term of don't try and run before you can walk. So just try and try and do it slowly.
Mm -hmm. I mean, we could try joining the Australian race. <laughs> I do um I kind of feel like do you remember if if anybody ever used to watch Ken Roxon's Honda GoPros from uh, Supercross how we'd roll on the throttle coming out of corners that's kind of how I feel you have to ride this bike and that's not just that's just my preferred riding style I absolutely love it Yeah, I've seen a few people saying that they like the Husky 250. Going well, thank you, CBK. Give me my lobbies. Give me my lobbies. Fly it. Hang on. I'm going to put a skin on this bike for this race. Special skin. A special skin that probably nobody's seen before. That I won't divulge where to find it either. Because... How do I download it? Good point. Fuel drive? Oh, what's it called? Uh... <laughs> Oh, I think that's it. Right. Download. Oh, it's just an entire pack. Come on, cut. Close that. Close that. Close that. Close MX Bikes. Open up this. Move over to the other monitor so you don't see all of the uh, the porn that I've downloaded. Right, it's downloaded. So now I've got this. Mods, bikes. MX1. Uh, actually, if I just do that, we have to copy and paste it. Odds, bikes, paste. Is that right? That yeah, should be right. Right, let's close that. Open it again, see if she's in there. No, don't don't pay attention. You might see glimpses of the word like midget or yeah, ebony female midget. Yeah, my go-to. Stuff that gets me through the hard times. Right. I also, I've had this downloaded that I forgot I had because Charlie was running it. And I really like the exhaust model that's on it. I think that looks really, really sexy. But that's not what I'm going to be running today. <clears throat> so, we're going for... Not that either. Clicked on the wrong one. Come on. Come on. We're going for this. Mr. JVDL. Oh. Oof. Yeah, we run that, sure. Uh, race. Oh, the server's up. MXBGP. Almost. They're going up as we speak. Love that. Uh, I think I'm sticking with the Honda for the time being, Charles. MX1, race 1. I would not be a happy man for Izzy. Would not be a happy man at all, especially with how expensive Domino's is these days. I'm quite um, a bit nervous now going into the race now that I know that I've got the potential speed to win. I hate qualifying first. 
It was very unexpected. Uh, not choosing gate one, that doesn't look too ideal. About here. Got our 8 litres, that's all good. <clears throat> Maybe the wrong pizza entirely. Oh god. That's a big help. Uh, is it still one that you enjoy, just not your first choice? Because if it's one that you don't like entirely, then that is a massive help. Yeah, use code uh, LIMS25 for 25% off all Domino's orders. Please don't do that. Not real, it doesn't exist. I believe you are allowed to ride on the track with GPs, so I'm going to go on it until I get told off. Although it's quite laggy now that we've joined a lobby with... A f well, joined a full lobby. Um, I used to run just over 7 Flynn, but after almost running out of fuel at Lommel, I've now upped it to 8 all the time. So for any race that's 30 minutes, I'll, I'll up it to 8 litres. Yeah, this corner right here, my frames go in the garbage, and then as soon as I get round it and I'm out, they go back to normal again. My bike feels so much heavier with 8 litres in it rather than the two I had in qualifying. I really should start qualifying with race fuel just so the bike still feels familiar. Uh, I need all of them temps. I need it. I think that's faster than the outside line that I was doing. I'm just scared about uh, tucking the front end on it. But, lucky bounce. That will definitely save you some time on a hot lap. That corner's going to get hell after my 01. <clears throat> If you are on a full sand track clause, then definitely on both, not just the back. You want sand tyre on the front and the back. My, my opinion, at least. I mean, feel free to mess around with things and try it. I'm good, thank you, Josh. Hope you're alright as well. I wonder if it's... I feel like the second that that rock structure over on the left hand side of the track gets into view it lags and as soon as I turn this way I don't it doesn't pick it up anymore. I mean I can't complain about it, I'm streaming in 2k quality, um, I've got my in-game settings all maxed out, I'm running the uh, high quality version of the track not the low quality version. Completely forgot that there was collisions in it. Although sus, uh, sus track entry from Mr Jackson in front of me. Another sus track entry from Jackson in front of me. About middle. I see that can happen as well. His handlebars touch the inside and you just instantly get ejected rather than the front end tucking and then crashing. <clears throat> Take two. <laughs> Lucky two goes in a row. Oh, we're getting steezy. Uh, my shaders are just uh, stuff I've put together, Austin. There's no preset for it at all. I'm getting steezy, throwing the taunt back at the same time. That's it. Uh, people were just getting fed up with it, Josh, that it was the same music on repeat. <clears throat> oh, he didn't crash, that's fine. Oh, I forgot that we have respawn delay on this server. 
Oh, I hate it so much. <clears throat> Mr. Tienan, Mr. Valteri. Oh, I missed the inside line. Oh, you can get so steezy on the Honda, it's ridiculous. Feel like she can get more upside down. It's probably complete placebo. I'm sure you can do it just as much on other bikes. But it feels nice. We try and get some real speed going into this section. Makes no difference, still the same line. Going outside everywhere. Oh no we're not. Yes we are. Oh, hold on dear. I'm sure I don't need to tell you how sketchy that was. I have no idea how to survive. <clears throat> uh, the bikes are all different in performance as well, Simon. It's not just aesthetics. That's why you see a lot of people riding the uh, the, the Yamahas at the moment, because they are perceived as the fastest one. I'm trying to break out the mould. Trying to bring the Honda to life. It was funny to see two Hondas go top of qualifying in, in this race. <clears throat> we ain't got long to go until the race starts. We've got about two, three minutes, I think. Just going to message someone quickly. Get some confirmation. Um, I think the hon the Cowie hon handle. I can't talk. What's going on, with me? The Cowie handles fine for me. It's just I find that the front end gets a little bit twitchy when you don't want it to. Yeah, there's no need for that, was there, Mister Jones? Why can't people just let me have my phone? I've had many people messing with the suspension on it. It doesn't do anything for the front end, unfortunately. Just handles the bumps a bit better. <clears throat> it's more so in the uh, in the deep stuff. Like once you get 20 minutes deep into a moto, that Hi, it starts really affecting chilies. Suzuki 250 I really enjoy, Suzuki 450 I'm not the biggest fan of. We're going into our race, boys, already. <coughs> so we'll see how this goes. I mean, I'm not expecting the starts to be amazing, because it's something that I've not practiced much at all. But we'll see. We got each side. We got Dylan on our right, Jackson, Skills. Oh, we got some good starters on our inside. That doesn't fill me with confidence. 
all three of these next to me are good out of the gate. <laughs> okay, not sure how Dorian's got such an insane stuff. How? <laughs> oh, I don't get it. Ours, I don't understand how someone's got so much speed there to send me that far on the inside of a corner. Well, bad start incoming, not quite a whole shot, but we got 30 minutes to try and uh, make something out of it. We'll spend the first two laps or so trying to dodge other bikes. Oh, we've got Jackson right behind us. We've got Dylan here. Oh, oh, hold on, dear. Right, this is where we just try and regain now. Oh my Christ. Oh, why would you fucking... <clears throat> I hate people that respawn when people are coming past. I could have been away then. That's so annoying, I lost so many spaces because that respawn. Yeah, if Pankaka took point one longer to press that button, I would have been fine. See all the damage is once we go across the line for the first time. See how far down I am after one lap. <laughs> no worries, JVDL. <laughs> Thank you for making it. So I am 13 seconds down. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. I've definitely had worse. Oh my lord, I hate people that have no sense of awareness around them. Nice, take care. <clears throat> I, do, I actually think that I expect too much of people on the track. I need to be aware that people are doing their own race. And it's not all about me. Unfortunately, I do give people a lot of room and respect the same in return. But it doesn't always happen. But I probably should just try being a bit more aggressive sometimes. In. I'm in I'm in P8, to be fair, which is pretty decent. After such a horrendous start. There's Mr. Pankaka who unintentionally AO'd me earlier. even tried taking anything other than the inside line there. That middle one looked like it worked quite well for him. This track is going to get very, very fast paced. I can feel it just from the way the, ro the road's going. So glad I jumped further to the right there. I'm going to cross over so I've got the inside. Oh, an itchy nose. This is not the time to have an itchy nose. Not really any big jumps I can do it over. I'll do it now. Uh, itch! Oh, God, that was sketchy. It's like pulling a tear off IRL. Making schmoofs. My well, Larson's changing bikes all the time. How do I come off worse from that situation? That tr triggers me so much. Alright, we'll go back to work again and try and gain back them places that we lost. 
I'm no fault of my own. Sometimes you've got to be lucky. And that doesn't seem to be me. Not sure why I'm getting a blue flag. I should hope I'm not getting lapped already. Oh. oh, I thought the front end was going to tuck there. Dorian all over my cheeks, you've got the whole shot, so it's weird having him back here. Usually quite consistent. Fourteen seconds off after all these mistakes, that's not too bad. Still a lot long time to go, a lot, lot left of in the race. Can't even talk. Too far inside there. That position? Not too sure. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm in fourth. How have I got into fourth? What's going on? Is everybody having as much of a struggle as I am? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that's going to be cuts. Hope it's only like a second. That's such a simple mistake to make. I hope it doesn't cost me too much. If he didn't gain a second. My bad skills. Oh, I thought I was about to cross over and take his front end. You know, scared, scared. I'm trying to take a different line to pass Pankaka, and then I hear skills behind me. Surprised to let me have that. Like I was being a bit brave trying to commit to it. Oh, I did get cuts, so I just generally don't know how many. Three hundred and forty six people in there, Jesus Christ. Ow? It's a random GP race. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Yeah, I got about 12 seconds to the leader, which is decent, because it was 14 at one point, so it shows even trying to fight through the pack and make passes, it would gain in time on the front. This is P2 here, right in front of me. So maybe I've got like two seconds worth of cuts, because that is not a four second gap. Coming in hot. I mean, very hot. Oh god, Flapper's going in my line, because he doesn't know. It's always a pain in the bum when Flappers think they're getting out of the way. Uh, nothing wrong, nothing against him, he can't do anything else other than go where he thinks we're not. Oh my god, hold on to it. Jesus. I'm surprised we're into lappers so early. I feel like it is quite early on in the race. Oh, 
Yeah, it's definitely two seconds worth, because that's only a one second gap to Tom. So two seconds of cuts, so I can work with that. Send that a bit far. Right, I'm just gonna let it run onto the outside. Oh. Wasn't settled into that rut at all. What is going on? Please just let me get up the downhill. I hate they're both so slow physics. Oh. It takes so long for the bike to get reset and get going again. I can do about it there. All I can do is try and let go of the controller and wait for it to sort itself out. If I try fighting it or steering different directions at all, it'll, uh, it'll just make me crash. Alright, I've got to try and make up that time again now that the Boso stole from me. We're only 12 minutes deep into the race. I can end up, like, even if I just end up getting P2 this race, I'll be very happy. Because it still puts me in a chance for the overall, and considering that god-awful start we had, that'll be great. Leader is making mistakes, though. It was 15 seconds ahead at the start of this lap, and now it's only 11. Oh, god damn it, man. Oh, I'm not saying anything. He tried doing his best. My fault. I tried rushing the corner too much. Right, we'll go back to it again. It's what I mean, these silly little mistakes that I'm making. I always, like, take my eye off of the rut that I'm going for and look at the lapper to try and see what they're doing, and it ends up also costing me, so I need to try and zone them out. Just me, myself, and I. I think some people just think I'm um, talking out my ass because, I mean, he done nothing wrong. He pulled up and got out of the way. Doesn't mean it's not a distraction at all. I reckon he's probably going to go outside in this corner as well because he doesn't know that I'll take it. Read it. Oh god, that inside's getting some horrible bumps in it. That's grim. It's very annoying that I've I've gained a lot of time on that lead multiple times now, and I just keep letting it go again. Just need to get into a flow state, get in the zone.
I do want to reiterate there that ba boom, <clears throat> that place last lap, he he done nothing wrong. You know, he slowed down. I just had in my head thinking, am I going to make it to that inside line before he does? So I tried pushing it a bit harder to make sure I did, and I crashed. So whilst it's not directly a lapper's fault, it's caused because I was around someone else, which I need to try and work on and zone out. Just trying to let you know my thought process there. I don't know if anyone else has that, where just having someone else around you puts you off. Don't you dare, oh my Christ. My highest view count while streaming was about 900 or so at Anaheim 1, which is ridiculous. That's like double my <laughs> next highest. But I say that, my next highest is was like 800 for Anaheim 1 the year before, but in terms of like a general high stream, you're probably looking at like this, where it's 300. I mean, we had 450 at Parler at one point. so annoying that both of them in front of me are making mistakes and I'm making them too. Hampus, by the way, in front of me, follows me on the Instagrams. Looks like the most stereotypical Swedish guy I've ever seen. Not even going to try again, stop that inside, I was going way too fast. Rather blow over the berm and then stay alive. here on the old Honda as well. I need to remember that I do still have two seconds of cuts, so even if, if I barely beat someone, it doesn't matter. I've got to beat them and pull away a little bit. Try and set my sights on Mr. Steiner up in front. Why would you re enter a rut like that? Sorry, I'm not the only person going outside it. There's zero, zero rough in the corner. Not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It means my line's not getting beaten up, but there's obviously a reason I'm the only one taking it. Is it bad? What is that man doing there? So that doesn't give me even more cuts.
that man in the corner up here is our leader that we're trying to catch. Let's hope that he sees the gap coming down and gets nervous and makes some mistakes. seconds. Eight minutes plus two to go. That is so ridiculous. Just make me crash, please. Don't sit me here doing a bloody discotheque. Oh my god, the game's so frustrating, man. What is wrong with, like, you've... Okay. Get off the track. Shit, that bug. I'm not even happy that I stayed on the bike after that 360. Like, I'd rather it just crash and then let me get going again. That is so frustrating. This game is a simulator. Industry leading tyre simulation from the ground up. Okay. Whatever you say. Whatever you say. track is getting a, a little bit treacherous. Oh, there's a leader. Leader is RIP. Right, well now I need to just try and disappear because I need to gap the field. Right, I'm going to try this middle rut in this corner. I've not taken it before. I'm going to go into it nice and slowly, see how she goes. I don't like how it flicks you back out. Alright, I'm going back to the inside next lap. Oh, there's more cuts. Right. <laughs> Need to gap even more now. So hard time trying to time these blind jumps, man. I'm allowed to hate on the game, it's all in good fun. I don't know where else my anger would go if I didn't blame the game. Better, better to get it out than in. As soon as the race is done, I'm all good, I'm all happy. I've forgotten about it by then. But I like getting it out in the moment, it's healthy. Good for you. Oh. Bacon is good for me. The Boso Rage is good for me. Oh, I do, yeah, I've read chat far too much during racing. Yeah, I did get another second of cuts. God. Not in the, not in the line of braking bumps, I wanted to fill there. God, yeet. You're right, big hoss. How you doing, man? What um, what class is Reaper streaming right now? Is he doing twos or fours? I feel like he usually goes for twos. Ah, oh, that's a shame. The one race I'm doing all right in. Oh, that jump sends you so high now from the road.
Thank you very much, Mr. Jones. Oh, coming in hot here. Surprised I didn't get any weird front end physics. We got 343 plus two laps to go. Hello, Honda lover there. He's got to use the, the red coat to let me buy. Love that. Uh oh. Should I have still gone for that? Probably not, but we're alive. Mr. X to the Z. Mr. Exhibit. God, I hate that inside so much. Maybe they should give us like a horn button for when you're coming up behind people as well. You can uh, actually, no, don't let you customize it. People are doing all sorts of wild stuff. If I could have like a clown horn when I come up behind people, see him with that. <laughs> coming through. <laughs> That'd be great. if anyone's noticed I'm trying to jump over that bump in that corner like if I can get up and over it it'll uh, stop my bike twitching out so much in that tight inside rut that's what I'm saying Claus I think the low end on this bike is helping me be a lot smoother in the corners just like rolling on the throttle I feel like I'm flowing around the track I'm not having to put much effort into it, it's just, it does it for me. It feels so smooth out the bottom end. Which stops my back end getting all, all wild and sketchy. Famous last words. Wait for something to happen now in any, any second. Uh, best 250 is whichever one you can go the fastest on and the most consistently on. No such thing as best anymore, anymore, my man. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Uh, yeah, I've seen that Reaper's doing it. I donated to him a little bit earlier, and I'm not going to be do streaming NA. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm alive. Love that. Uh, I'm not going to be streaming NA later, so his stream can get a bit more attention. I thought I'd just do my EU as normal, but then once my O2 is over today for me, I'm going to send all of you guys over his way to show him a bit of love. <clears throat> yeah, and then my, my plan is to get everybody over to Honda's, and then I make another video on the new meta bike, then get everyone on that, and then make another. Oh my lord! And then get another video. God, I'm going over every single rut this lap. What's going on? Hello, Guap, you're right, man.
go, two laps to go. Not pulled away as much as I would like to, if I'm honest. Well, I've been making a fair few mistakes. Not full on crashes, but just like going over berms here and there, just costly things. I do like how the track's eroded though. I think the ruts have got better. Some parts that really make you slow down. Oh, that wasn't ideal. I have to change my line for that corner next motor. I feel like that's the one that's holding me back the most. Last lap. Oh nice, well I can just bog it around the entire track. I feel like that suits me a lot, so I will be sticking with the Honda for quite a while now, I reckon. It feels comfortable for me. I mean, Signer have kind of gaps the rest of the field. I'm more happy with the fact that I've come back to get a decent, well, I say decent finish, literally almost one. Happy that I've come back this far after that god-awful start. Oh, that was so bad. I'm not going anywhere near that inside rut. Throw it away at the end. Lovely stuff. Yeah, Steiner kept me honest all the way until the end there. That was a good race. I enjoyed that. Da, 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 da. Oh, someone's not happy with Jackson. Any drama going on? No, oh, no drama. That was all good. How many cuts did I get in the end? Three! Oh! Da, 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 da. Yeah, I love that. No more, uh, no more Troy Jan profile picture. That's the way it should be. Leave the Troy Jan profile picture for Troy Jan himself. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Have I got a gifted sub from somewhere then? Christers, just saw what you said, sorry. I see you. I see you. Not a whole shot, but we'll take that. Well done. Yeah, I mean, you can't be unhappy with a win. But uh, yeah, by far not the uh, the best start I've ever had. But that's quite funny. 
the first 450 is in P5. At first, Yamaha is in P5. I'm just going to throw it out there. I don't think that the CR is actually faster overall. It just suits me and how I play the game. So, uh, yeah, that was good. So, how much fuel? Oh, I had so much fuel left. We'll take some out. Make the bite a little bit lighter for us. I'm not sure what to do out of the start this time, to be honest, boys. Certainly take that, though. I remember last time I straight up won a moto outside of uh, Lommel. Uh, now, nah, to be fair, you know, I, I've said before, notice a common female so when something happens to hers is when I win. This game crashed at Lommel in the moto that I won. He ran into a death spike in Supercross in the one that I won. How it be? At the start, fifth pin. Do we, we tried doing that in a little warm up, and it didn't go too well, unfortunately. Just ride behind skills. He cleans all the lappers for you. It was awesome. Love that. I'm good, thank you, Price. I'm much better now, knowing that the bike can actually do well. Oh, I didn't even notice the old uh, the old graphics on the radiator as well. Very, very nice, Mr. JVDL. Jeez. <clears throat> Yeah, Vicky Ha, thank you very much, Christas man. I appreciate that. He's back again with a renegade master. Uh, we'll be going until the end of the next moto. They usually give us like five minutes in between races, and each moto is thirty-five-ish minutes long. So. You're probably looking like three or so minutes until we start the next race. And then you get to watch me try and struggle a little bit around the track for 35 minutes and then we'll be done. And I'll send all of you guys over Reaper's Way. Hi, welcome to Chili's. I would like to do it as like a proper raid at the same time. So if you boys hold on for as long as possible till the end, then we'll all go in there and say hello at the same time. We'll keep it we'll keep it a secret as well unless Reaper's coming in to do some stalking, unless he's lurking in the background. Yeah, I do use a sound model, although I can't tell you which one it is because I've had it in my game for probably a year. I've had it for so long. So I generally have no clue which one it is. <clears throat> yeah, honestly, Glyn, I was so blown away by Mr. Mr. Jet. He's, he's actually unreal. Like, he, he is him. Uh, yeah, it still works. Uh, to the point where I didn't know I had a Sam mod on until people started commenting about it because I haven't used the Honda in such a long time and loaded it and this is the sound that I had. You know, like it didn't get overwritten at all with any other OEM updates. Right, I'm off into the wilderness. Take care. So long. Oh! Didn't know that was there. Scared me a little bit. There we go, we're going already. Damn, what if my fingers aren't fully rested? We'll go with uh, a different start technique this time since first gear didn't work last time. Mm, 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 mm.
Race time. I see you, McFlurry. I'm saying thank you before the gate drops. I appreciate it, man. <coughs> Free race. You could you just pretend that it was for the Moto 1 win. That's all. Bird and spam. I can try... The thing is, other bikes, I feel like that works quite well. But on the Honda, it feels like no matter how many times I spam it, it just comes back up again. Uh, the, the wheel never stays down. We'll see how it goes, though. If my record's anything to go by, I usually go about first and in the first mode and then fifth in the next one, so... Yeah, that just keeps coming up again. That's an interesting line from Dimitri, though. I'm going to hug so far inside here. This is the hardest bit, is just try not to get cro- Holy ping! I was about to say, trying to get cross jumped, but <laughs> what can you do when bikes are flying around like that? That's ridiculous. I'm going to go around the outside here, feel like Ben... No, no, Ben goes where he wants. Get up the inside, I don't want to be sat behind him just in case the ping pops off again. Oh, the skills left and rejoined on the Honda. Oh my god, you love to see it. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. I have no idea how I'm in P3 after that gate drop as well. At least we ain't got stressed as much this time about getting a bad start, so that's nice. This is where it turns out skills likes the Honda more than the Yami as well, and he just absolutely decimates everybody. And I've created a monster. I'm in no rush to try and like, catch up and overtake these boys either. I'm quite happy to sit back here and wait for some mistakes. Because even if I get third behind the pair of them, I would still get the overall. in the lag zone. The yellow flag's up for. That's why... <laughs> oh my lord. Very scary. I know this man in front of me is an absolute machine, so I'll try my best to keep him as close as possible. But I think all I can really hope for is that he tries going too fast and crashes. I know he is also streaming right now. I think he streams on Twitch. I just I don't know if he talks during them at all. He does so it'll be interesting to see his thoughts on the Honda after switching. <laughs> but you have to give, uh, you have to take your hat off to him. But like, switching, leaving the game, switching bike and joining back, like four race with zero practice is pretty nice. And then going out and barking like this. interested to know if he's using my entire setup as well or if he's got his own settings on it. Oh, 
Should be able to land this if I can hit a little transfer. There we go. Little K dub transfer. I'm going inside here. Oh, man, down. Hold on to her. I'm taking this inside, which is kind of making me want to try it. Don't like it going outside again. After this, that. Don't like that at all. I feel like that's just asking for the bike to start twitching underneath you. It's overrated if you ask me. Face that jump is not very nice. Where it's eroded away. I just feel like it kicks you super high. Oh god, that's going to be close. Oh. Such a difficult jump to try and time. Very small landing. Get the angle right, you've got to get the speed right. I'll make sure the pitch of the bike is right when you come in to land as well. Uh oh. I knew that was coming the second I took off. Of course the bike has to face the wrong way, so it's not just the... One and a half second aids respawn that I've got to deal with. A nasty kicker on that roller. Not very nice. get on the, the schmoove because I think Jackson's feeling himself this motor. He seems to be barking. He gained a second on me on the lap that I didn't crash. We gotta go. Just not too fast because we don't want to uh, start making a crap load of mistakes. Just fast enough. Just nice, nice middle ground fast. See the first lap are coming up. much better than trying to double into that corner.
he uh, he went down. I thought he might. He was running a bit of a disgusting pace. He's getting like 0.7 on me in just that first sector alone. That look. I'm just trying to survive. Track's pretty brutal. that Yamaha when I was in the air of that jump just seeing where it was going to land so I could take evasive maneuvers. Take off of that. Not a fan. Please use your eyes. Oh. Please use your eyes when you pull away as a lapper, I beg. Oh, Lord. You're just gonna sit in the fast line. You look behind. Just get out of the fast line. Oh Jesus Christ! That stresses me out, man. Oh my Christ! Now I'm triggered. Now I'm facing the wrong way after a crash. All because of a uh, low IQ individual or an unaware individual. Skills DC. I think the track's very, very fun, but I think we have very different riding styles. But it wouldn't surprise me if, because you have to slow down in quite a lot of parts of this track, he's not a fan. The fact that he changed to the Honda from one moment to the other tells me that he was doing a little bit of searching like I was doing at Parlour, trying to find something that works better. But I feel like he was struggling, which can then in turn make a track not feel very fun. The netcode on this game is so stressful. Uh, I, I thought that man just completely crashed off the track and then he appears in front. God, the FPS here is insane. It's so noticeable as well, I can feel it, it's horrible.
up a little bit short on that. Oh, oh front end. It almost went over. We have a scrub. Very annoying that I'm not going to be staying up to do an A tonight on a track that I am thoroughly enjoying. <clears throat> but I do need to get my sleeping pattern back into some sort of a routine before I completely destroy it again on Friday. There's a little front end twitch coming there. Just bracing for it. I was getting ready. So sketchy going down one of them other rocks. Definitely doesn't let you open up the uh, last corner as much as you'd like to. The, the far right hand side before that finish just stays, just, you stay so much lower. I thought I was going to be flying over that berm then, got a little bit of an endo going through the rollers. But there's no way that I'm stopping. Oh, it's much nicer on the left there. What is, again, just ping. If this man appears when I'm inside of him, I'm going to be so annoyed. Thank you, whoever that lapper was. I didn't actually pay attention to the name. I'll look behind here. Mr. John Bowling. It might not be John Bowling. I don't think it is. It's just JB. Big JB. JB had a great round at, uh, <clears throat> at Toy Shantor, and he's not done that amazing since. in the air for so long over that you just have time to think about everything. <laughs> have a little look over at the timing, make sure you've got enough fuel, all that good stuff. I knew someone would say something sussy when I said inside of them, you know what I mean. When I'm occupying the same bit of track as they are and then they suddenly reappear. Yeah, I really do wonder how many Hondas we're going to see show up at uh, Hangtown on Friday. Oh, that's not a line, Dylan, you silly goose. What are you doing? Oh, <laughs> the random hole appeared. Okay, going back to my outside line rather than inside. Uh, no, I'm on the 450 at the moment, not the 250. I know pro people probably see the, the Honda now and they think that everyone's on a 250 because it is the 250 of choice usually. Oh, 
Oh, I wanted to have that inside right. I didn't want to get near the husky. But I missed. Front end said, nah, you ain't getting in that one. Uh, there won't be a battle cam. You'll probably get a much better start than me and disappear. I'm very happy to accept that you're faster than me at this game. Apparently GP style tracks are more my thing than uh, TFC ones as well, by the looks of it. I've had much better GP rounds this year than I have done any of the uh, AMA stuff. And that's talking about Toy Shintel. That one could be written off. Bad round for me. Which is weird, because I don't feel like it's much different to this track in terms of style. It's just uh, some tight, twisty bits. I'm just like looking ahead at that skybox of the clouds with the sun rays shining through and it's just insane how pretty it is. I know YouTube never does these things justice, but if you do have a track I definitely recommend cranking your graphics up just to see what it looks like. I think every JV round this year has been a screenshot heaven. I love going around some of these corners and I can barely hear my engine because I'm just bogging the bike around that much and just flowing and using momentum. Well, that's how I really enjoy playing this game rather than banging it off the limiter everywhere. Is what I was trying to do on the uh, the Yamaha. I had a short gear in set up and everything could just try and get me out of the gate and it just affected me everywhere else. No idea where that Yamaha just came from. I wonder if he crashed off a list and landed there. I have no idea. This is an awful part of the track to try and lap people on. It ends up being quite one line. Thank you, boys. It's nice that... Coco didn't try and gain a position from uh, Wes moving over there. Oh. Front end collision things. What I'm liking about this bike so far is I feel like I'm just out on a casual ride. I don't feel like I'm having to in it everywhere. I'm just nice, loose, flowy, smooth. Lovely. Traction's great. Sits in ruts amazingly. Front end might try going every now and then, but I feel like that's when I'm really trying to push it. Like in this corner here, for example, you get quite a skinny rut that you're trying to sit in. Yeah, when you're trying to get on the brakes, jump into an inside rut like this, you know, it just sits in it really nicely. And you can get it uh, pretty damn steezy on it as well. And it handles the braking bumps really well, which is exactly what you want. No, I, I wouldn't change my number to 18. I'll, uh, I'll be number 35 on this game forever now if I score enough points each season. Oh my god. Oh, it's Ben again. It, weirdly enough, so he's not... He's got a normal colour ping, but it, I don't know if it's just a weak connection or he's on a hotspot or something, so every now and then it'll just make him meet across the map.
You can go up around corners on the pegs entirely if you want to. But ignore this corner here because it's so laggy I can't control what I'm doing. I was up on the pegs all the way around there. Try and doing this one as well. One of these is going to lead to a crash. Oh, almost didn't turn quite as tight as I wanted it to. Go over here, get out of the rough stuff on the face of the jump. You scrub it harder as well when you're not in all the rough. Up on the pegs around there. This might be a bit hard to do on the pegs, we'll try it. Oh no, she's working. Then this corner's great on the pegs, just... The fellow Honda enjoyer, Honda enthusiast. That is not <laughs> one of the best jumps I've ever done. Throw a little taunt back in. I don't know how I survived that. <laughs> Definitely should have crashed. Did not land straight at all when we came up short. This is what I'm saying. When I've not got L's in the lobby and I've not got skills in the lobby at the same time, I usually end up winning. I, I am just that third slash fourth place guy, depending on who else shows up on the day. Alpha's parking behind me. Oh, hold on, dear. Into the whole way around that corner, no issues at all. Oh, it's lovely. I like that I can actually back up the video from today saying about this setup as well. I just say, oh, this setup's amazing, and then I run a good lap in testing, show up in a race, and get like 10th. Uh, it's actually gone really, really well. Oh, we're going over that. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit too fast. Uh, I agree with you there, Callum. That's why I like it, is that I feel like I know what it's going to do all the time. Well, I feel like I can be smooth on it. It's so nice not having to stress when you crash. Just take your time, get going again. Got a big old lead. Try the inside up here. Definitely be a smart move, wouldn't it? Taking a line that I've never taken. Right. Not too shabby. Oh, that wasn't. That's like hitting a wall. Right here as well. Getting the smooth stuff. It'll scrub. And I do think as well, sound mods play a massive part in how you ride bikes. Because I have some sound, some sound mods where I can't really tell what RPM range I'm in. Whereas whichever one I've got on this right now, I, it gives me a really good indication, like really low down on where my power is. Which is probably another reason why I'm keeping traction quite well. bit too far to the left there. I'm 
god, I only actually just looked at my lead. <laughs> when did that happen? He was on my cheeks like 10 minutes ago. The big red. The big red machine. I bet the boys that were already riding the Honda before me are now annoyed that I've t let everyone know how good it is. But I don't think it would matter if I made a video on it or not. Everyone would see me riding it and then give it a go themselves. Uh, are we talking about in-game or not with the KX100? Because I have ridden the KX100 IRA. In-game, we uh, we don't support those. <coughs> Ripped models from L creators. Also L people that try and show them off and showcase them in YouTube videos. Oh, I've only got one to go. It's rare that I don't want these motors to end. I'm actually having fun. W track. W bike, W setup. W stream. That's a good thing as well. We've had like consistent 300 people in here, which is amazing. Hold on, dear. Just got to hit this triple one more time. A little bit close, but it's fine. We move. Quite surprised how consistently I've hit that and how cleanly I've hit that. Stay away from that far outside because that's making my bike twitch. Throw a little fatty in Baboom's face. Throw a little taunt back for the fans. A thank you to Mr. Jones as we go by. Oh, that was disgusting how smooth I just hit that rut. Try and send the jump before the finish. Uh, I've done it in qualifying, and it seems to be RNG on if you can get a good bounce and land it or not. Um, I mean, I've got a big enough lead. I may as well go for it. I'll give it a go. Yeah, I'm not doing NA tonight, boys. I'm only doing EU because I don't want to take away from Mr. Reproduct's charity stream that he's doing. So once we're done here, I'll send you all over there and I'll load up the stream to watch for myself. I want to see everybody spamming uh, Lin's, Lin sent us or Lin's sent me. Give him a bunch of viewers because I think he would appreciate it. This isn't going to go well. No, it did not. No one pulling on. No, there you go. That's not odd, is it? Just quick look behind before you pull back onto the track. Yeah. Up that. Oh, we're done. Finished. 1-1. One, one. Big old lead in that race. Love that. Right, boys, I want you to do me a massive favour. Massive, massive favour. No, it's not for me. It's for Reproduct, to be fair. So, YouTube. I want you all. I want to see this eight, number 82 right here. I want to see this number 82 change. I want about 300 of you to go over here, and I want to see, in chat right here, I want to see Lin sent us, or Lin sent me, and see what he puts. He's streaming the 250 race right now, which is finishing, and he's going for 22 hours in total. He is currently 5 hours deep, so he's got, what's that, like 17 hours left to go. So yeah, I want to see some Lin sent us for everybody. Go and show some more support. Thank you for everyone that's been here for me. I do appreciate it. Uh, really good result there. Uh, thank you everyone that's been here and supported again. Do love all of you. And go and give Reaper some love and try and support his stream. I think he'd really appreciate that. I will uh, catch you guys maybe Wednesday. Or if not Wednesday, I'll catch you on Friday instead. I'll catch you boys next time.